Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this really quick and easy look for work. Yes, the video is here, back to work makeup. I feel like a lot of us are slowly transitioning um, back to going into the office. And some are happy, some are not. Some are happy and some are not, guys. I'm in the between. I'm just going with the flow and just telling myself like it has to be done and I just have to go with the flow. I will talk more about that in the video itself, but yeah, I'm just gonna do this really quick um, tutorial for you guys. And I'm also gonna show you guys how I cover my blemishes because your girl's been breaking out left, right and center and I'm telling you it's because of the mask. I do not have blemish prone skin, like guys, I don't, but I've had so many deep set, like painful spots and it's because of the damn mask. But yeah, I'm just going to show you how I cover them and like what I've been liking lately, upper lip sweat coming through. <laughs> Before I go, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. Today's one's going to go to Rukshi Lewis, so thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button, I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. But yeah, I hope you guys find this video helpful, thank you so much for stopping by to watch and we'll just jump straight into it. Okay, my brows are already done. I feel like I always show you guys how I do my brows. They're pretty much the same routine. Fill them in, quick brow gel. I will link my in-depth brow routine in the info box if you guys are interested to see how I do my brows. But let's move on to skin because that's the, like the main focus for me when I do my makeup every day. First, we have to moisturize. I've been using the Wishful Honey Whip Moisturizer. This stuff's really, really nice. I wouldn't say it's as hydrating as the Honey Balm, which is way more hydrating, guys. This is more like an everyday light moisturizer. I do put my SPF on top which is much more heavier like wearing a mask every day having to take it off put it back on having to take it off put it back on is literally giving me deep set spots like I've got scarring all over here here I feel like I've never I've always said I don't really have like blemish prone skin but I've never had the most this is like the most blemishes I've had in like in my life I feel like I've no even through my, my even throughout my teenage years I didn't I've never had this many and they leave these really dark scars on my skin and they, they just keep coming I mean like these ones just about are healing and then a bunch came on this side and now I've got a deep set one coming here and it's so painful I finally managed to put my everyday makeup in here, by the way. I do have another one, but there's just way too much makeup in there. I'm going to use my La Roche-Posay Athelios uh, SPF 50 cream. Put this all over. Okay, so now to cover these blemishes, you want an orange corrector or peach corrector. Because my scars are quite dark, I'm going with the orange one. This is the Live Tinted Hue Stick in Rise. And I just put some where I need it. To be honest, I try to use the applicator one so I'm not spreading like any bacteria. Literally, you don't need that much. You can use this under the eyes as well. Then for foundation, I've been really liking the Matte and Poreless Foundation by Maybelline. This is in the shade Warm Honey. And I just put this, kind of just dot it here and there. And then I'm gonna take a foundation brush. This is like my favorite at the moment. It's the NYX 03 brush. Definitely recommend this. It's like the perfect foundation brush. And I'm just gonna buff this all over. I'm not really using swiping motions, more tapping. But yeah, this gives really nice coverage and it stays put and it's affordable. So yeah, that's covered my blemishes really, really well. You can, you can see them a little bit, but honestly, when I go to work, like I just want the most natural makeup. Another product that I swear by but I've already done looks on them with them is the NARS tinted moisturizer and Fenty Beauty ease drop um tinted skin tint <laughs> and they're like they're my, my most favorite then we're going to use a bit of concealer I've been loving the Too Faced Born This Way concealer this is in the shade sand I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush I don't know if they do this brush still but it's like one of my favorite brushes I've been going into the office more guys and I've been sharing up my stories and so many of you have asked me like what do you prefer? Do you prefer working in the office? And I feel like a lot of you do prefer working from home. You just have way more to do. There's more to do. You can do your laundry, you can go for a walk, you can work out. 
you can watch a bit of TV, take a nap during your lunch time. I don't know, you just have way more time in the day to just do stuff and in the comfort of your own home. Like you're working in your home, like who doesn't, who wouldn't want that? I mean, for me, I know you guys keep asking me, but like I, I've always said I prefer working from home. If you want to talk about preference, I prefer working from home. There's also the aspect of like going back to normal, collaborative working and I'm not, I'm not gonna lie some things in in work are easier to do when you're in the office with your team with your colleagues because it's just easier to interact and you know get stuff done but I'm not going to say that those things can't also be done through Skype or Zoom or whatever do you know what I mean you can do a screen share or like it's totally possible to do that online if someone comes to me and says it's not doable, that's such a lie. That's such a lie, guys. Laura Mercier setting powder, always use this. And I just take a brush, like a tapered brush, and just set my under eyes. And wherever I need to kind of like remove any excess oil. And I would also do it where I put corrector too. But this foundation is so, so good. I've been loving the NARS uh, bronzing cream in Casino. To be honest, if I'm in a rush, I'll just go in with this. It's just so easy to use. I feel like more companies are incorporating hybrid working, which is having a balance between working in the office and working from home on a permanent basis. And I really do hope that companies keep that. I don't know right now if they will be. Um, right um, at the moment, I'm doing a few days at home and a few days in the office, which isn't too bad. And it's better than before because, you know, if we talked about working from home, like before the whole pandemic started, um, talking about working from home was so taboo, like, do not even dare talk about working from home. I just feel like now companies are more open to discussing the topic. I mean, we've all had to work from home in the past two years, almost. And I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a big struggle for some people to come back, because I did it kind of like slowly. I went back in a day in April so that I can get used to it. And um, just to familiarize myself again with the situation, like just being in the office. So I went in one day where there was no one, I went in by myself. And to be honest, I felt fine. Like I adapted really well to the change. But yeah, like I said, if you're talking about preference, I prefer working from home. I can make my coffee, I can have my lunch, I can just heat up something in a microwave or make an eggs on eggs on the stove. Like it's just so convenient, guys. Because I have to commute an hour and a half into central, I save up three hours of commute a day, which is an immense amount of time. Can't forget blush. And to be honest, I've been using this blush like crazy. This is the By Terry CC Brightening Blush, and I kind of use the peach the most, but the pink's pretty too. But I only find myself using these two shades mostly. I'm gonna go in with the peach. Just puts a bit of color. I'm not gonna lie, I don't put anything on my eyes, guys. I just kind of like brush it with like a bit of concealer and powder, that's it. Now I do actually use a primer, it's in my makeup bag. I use the Pro Filter Primer by Fenty Beauty. I'm just trying to get through all my primers because I just feel like I don't use them enough and I forgot to put it today. It's kind of because, it's because I know like I'm not going out, I didn't reach for it, but when I know I need my makeup to really last, I will reach for my primer because I do feel like it makes a difference. Let me know what's going on with you guys. Are you going back into the office? What do you prefer? How do you feel about it? Is it making you feel anxious? I know for some people, like the thought of going back into the office terrifies them, but what I would recommend is to slowly go back in, like go like once, like once a week at least to just transition yourself because at some point we're gonna have to go back to normal like that's what I keep telling myself like I've got no choice I just need to like get it and I know it's gonna be way harder for some people and then and then I've also talked to some people where they've had to be in the office since the pandemic started and they don't really understand um, people who aren't able to come back to the office because of stress or anxiety or whatever like they just don't get it because they've had to be in the whole time like I've talked to um, diff I've talked to a bunch of people and they've all got their different opinions but I try not for me like personally I hate judging like that's one thing I'm trying to like <sighs> teach myself is to like not judge we also we're all so quick to judge but like mental health is you can't easily see it and sometimes 
it takes a lot to understand it. I'm not gonna lie, some days I wish I just could not bother with makeup, but you do feel more put together, more awake when you do put makeup on. Just gonna use my Legit Lashes by Huda Beauty. If you don't do this already, I definitely recommend doing so. Maybe all of you do it and I'm the only one, I'm the idiot that hasn't been doing it, but before going to work, get your clothes ready the night before. Then you like iron it, set it on a hanger, and you know exactly what you're gonna wear. You know it fits, you know it looks good, and you don't have to worry about all of that in the morning. Definitely recommend that. It's such a big changer. Like you don't have to worry about your clothes are there ready for you to put on. Because I used to do that in the morning. Guys, I don't even bother putting like um, mascara on my lower lashes when I go to work. And then lastly, I put my Fenty gloss. I've been loving the Sweet Mouth one. It's just like a clear gloss, really. So yeah, this is the final look. I know it's so natural, it's so easy. Um, guys, I, when I tell you I want the most natural makeup when I go to work, like I want the natural, most natural makeup. And then the last thing that I do is I use my MAC Fix Plus setting spray or another favorite one is the Huda Beauty Boss Face, but that has a really strong scent, but it keeps your makeup in place. Urban Decay All Nighter, all these setting sprays are really good to keep your makeup in place and it's just gonna really help in the long run. During the day, like wearing a mask and everything, you want your makeup to stay put. But I've been really liking this Vitamin C Fix Plus by MAC. I'm just gonna do now. I was mentally preparing myself for autumn because I feel like we didn't have a summer right but it's 26 degrees today and I am boiling and I wasn't ready for it because I was getting prepared for autumn and this UK weather has been playing me so bad playing with my emotions so yeah definitely let me know what you guys have been going through in the comments below I definitely want to read them we can have a little chat in the comments below um yeah thank you so much for watching let me know what videos you want to see like honestly like specific videos if there's anything you want me you want to see from me let me know because i'm here i'm in a little bit of a rut at the moment i definitely need some motivation so yeah let me know in the comments below as well um make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the thumbs up button and yeah i will see you in my next video bye